Today, it's someone's birthday somewhere in this world. Um, I have two of the new Make It Mini birthday capsules. If there is a new one, I have to take a look at it at least once. Let's open them. Oh, I already see a theme. Is oh, it's a silicon mold. So we already had a spoiler. Do I want to look at this then, or oh, okay, oh, oh, aha. Uh -huh. Now I understand. We have. Three main themes and different things inside this theme. Looks like we have the melon pinata. First of all, we have a table. Then we have the pinata. I guess we have to glue that together. Then we have some bags. Four. Four bags. That's okay, I think. And then what do we have here? Ooh. Two resins. Food dye, gummy syrup. I guess both of them. Uh, both. Both of them are resin. The nozzles for them. Handing sugar. Cute tissue. Wrappers. <laughs> the piñata. Okay. A spatula? Spatula? So. <laughs> um, yeah. You go off to the side. This is uh, interesting. What are we supposed to do? So they want us to first make some candy with the candy mold, which is a reusable mold, what I think is quite nice. And we have cherries, melons, and strawberries. And then we have red and green to do all of them which might get interesting and the sanding sugar is uh, to give it this yeah slightly coated feel i'm not sure what to do with these it looks like they want us to put them in there but i don't know why i should do that do I have to do that? Are they sticky? I guess we will find out. But first, I want to open the second one. We have the same series, but I think we have the drinks, looks like. We have two coasters. Uh, 
We have ice cubes. That should be the resin. Pineapples and um, berries. Which berries? I have no idea. <laughs> they are aggressively pink. <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are. So, unsurprisingly, we have straws and things. <laughs> um, tweezers, tongs, you know. Yeah, so here we have two drinks. I am happy that it's two and not just one. Uh, but anyway, it, it, it's still... It's drinks. You know, when I see this one, which has a mold, uh, that's far nicer. Anyway, let's let us take a look at these. What else could we have had? The pineapple donuts are quite funny, as well as the melon cupcakes, but cupcakes we already had enough. The cake here is quite cute basically here everything is fine as well but it does look like that the piñatas are the only ones with molds and i do like them oh gosh the dinosauria the dinosaur thing is cute as well <laughs> yeah okay all of them are cute and they would work together quite well no they all of them are quite cute the tropical theme and the dinosaur theme would work together the only one that stands out for me is the pastel theme here, the rainbow theme. Um, but it, it's a cute series. Let's be honest here. The reason why I had to open both of them was quite simple. My very, very low impulse control. <laughs> I bought them and I just was about to go uh, about to visit a friend and at least I had to know what's inside of them. Yeah, this low impulse control is to thank, or we have to thank this low impulse control for me having to go through the town center to visit my friend. And on the way back, because we both were quite tired and ended it quite early today, I had to buy two more. Looks like we have the dinosaur drinks. That, that was what I wanted to see. How different are the individual individual series so another table <laughs> then we have two mason jar muck things chocolate bar graham cracker crumbs cute not going to keep it, but cute. A uh, little bit of twine and I think labels. 
Let's dig. Okay. Ah, so, I assume this is kind of like a mixture for a way you have either a mixture for a cake that you can do at home as a giveaway for the birthday or it is um, the dessert. Marshmallow fluff. Dessert. Definitely. So we have to have two spoons. Let's put all of that back in there because we are not doing it right now. So, and the last thing. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Ah, okay. Looks like both of these are resin. But on this one you don't have the label. But anyway. Oh my, that felt heavy. We have cake crumbs. Oh, that's the cake! Sponge cake. <laughs> uh -huh. Is it just one dinosaur? We will take a look at it. The cake stand with a, with a dirt patch. <laughs> oh, the second one with eggs. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Then this must be the resin. Chocolate. And these must be the tools. You know, if I would be someone <laughs> that is intelligent, I would now prepare everything for leaving in roughly 24 hours for England. <laughs> but because I'm me, I'm now sitting here wanting to finish filming this. Which is basically the most unnecessary of the projects I could finish now. But I want to finish it. <laughs> Let's start with the drink because we already know how the drinks work. You go into the, your hot tub. It is still rather not solid. Let's hope that this won't sink to the bottom while we are going to do the rest. Okay, we have to do multiple of these. So we have to go down to the wash and curing station multiple times. That should be fine then. Now the question is, do I try this with the nozzles provided that are rather clunky <laughs> or do I use uh, wooden sticks well I left the um, <laughs> the things that I put in, the drinks and the gummies in the wash and curing station for three minutes. 
which so far was enough for all the things I did so far to completely cure. But not this time. I uh, took it out after three minutes and it was still completely liquid. And now I have it in there for 10 minutes. And I am not sure if that is because water seeped into the bottles or if they changed the um, stuff they use, the resin they use or whatever, but we will see. Ten minutes later, these seem uh, feel dry. These still feel sticky <laughs> on the surface, but I wanted to try that now anyway because I hope that they, yeah, as I said, are only sticky on the surface. So when we then do this uh, sugar coating that they want us to do, it might still stick without having to do another coat. So, let's dig, it says. I am quite sure that these will not contain enough resin for two layers. So you are supposed to do two layers of cocoa, two layers of the cream stuff here, the resin, and it stays, uh, sticks to the side. And one, row, uh, one graham cracker. We only have enough resin for barely two layers. Um, we don't have enough cocoa for more than one layer. I'm not sure what the graham cracker situation is. And it ends up being a mess because it sticks everywhere. So, let's do the cake, which has a ton of topping. We are now very close to discover something interesting because I did put all the pieces in the curing station for 15 minutes this time and when I took it out our dinosauria cake wasn't solidified. I gave it an extra 15 minutes now so it was in the curing station for 30 minutes total. And we will now see if it is solidified. Pokey poke. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. It's completely gooey. There's nothing solidified. Not even the thin areas that are made like they are supposed to be made. Well, that does mean going to glue in the eggs now 
And then I'm going to keep this on the, win uh, the windowsill for the whole three weeks I am in Britain and hope that when I return it has solidified. Let's start with the positives. The finished items are cute. Uh, some of the things can be... Uh, some of the items were fun to make. Um, yeah. And I think that's already it when it comes to the positives. Which is such a shame, because I normally like these a lot more. Um, in my opinion, there are far too many issues with this series compared to others. The not ve very well working resin is my first thing. And I can only repeat what Nerdycrafter said a thousand times already. When your main thing in a set is the resin, and that does not work, then what am I paying that amount of money for? And keep in mind, these are not cheap craft kits. I paid... 13 euros a piece so I paid 52 euros in total for craft kits that were disappointing in the best and not even functional in the worst areas and I do think these are mostly made for either adults that are door collectors or kids that craft together with their parents. So that is one thing. But if a parent who does not know much, uh, a lot about resin lets their kid play with it after they crafted it together and like the cake it is still sticky, no. Just no, you can't sell pieces like this when it does not work. That is, uh, yeah, no. Um, I am not very happy about this version or these this series. It could have been good, but the not stick uh, the not uh, hardening resin is a no for me. Then we have things like. Um, You don't have enough ingredients, as for the dig party thing. And one last thing before I say goodbye to you. If I would have crafted these first and then visit my friend, I would have and uh, would not have sp stopped in the uh, town center for two more of these because if I would have noticed first how disappointing they are no the two melon ones would have been the only ones for me anyway I hope you still did enjoy this video some how some what a little bit at least and we will see us in another one. Have a great time and until then. Bye.